Good evening, everyone. Skeeter. I'm going uh, to show you a few tips on your barb on how to kill these elite mobs easily without dying or uh, basically without dying. So well, I'll show you my build later on in this video. I just want to show you a few clips of me killing um, elite mobs, getting five stacks of valor, and then going to kill the butcher, which is a great way to magic find. And my gear is not all that great. I can't do some of Act 2. I haven't completely finished it, but moving forward on it, when I get bored, I just come back and kill a few mobs. What I usually do is um, I pop my sprint and then I whirlwind right through all the mobs, which leads to this trail of whirlwinds, which in turn kills them basically all. And on top of that, with this build, you uh, keep on generating life. Well, you generate life because I have a whole bunch of life on hit. I got what is it like uh, 1330, I think. And um, with this build, you just keep on getting rage back. So, here yeah, I'm gonna show these guys. If you fight these on your barb or any character, you know how annoying these are. These chain guys. Are they chain? Oh, guess not. Anyway, these guys are annoying. And um, as you can see, there's oh, they are chain. There they go. As you can see, they're still gonna go down. I don't die. I constantly do this all the time. Getting five stacks of valor, going to kill the, the butcher, and I, I rarely die. I haven't died in a while. Um, yeah. This one is a great way to magic find too. It's not that great. Anyone can do this in a bar. What I did here, I saw the other guys got stuck, so I started hitting this guy to get my fury up. Once I did, pop sprint, whirlwind right through them, go to the other side, pop it again, and whirlwind right back to them to this side. Keep on doing that, kill them easy. Just all you have to do is run, or you can do this just pop sprint and just dodge the lasers, and um, yeah, they'll eventually die. two legendary pieces that I got on my bar which I've done with which one I got by doing actually this and my strength is low too it's only 961 I'm not too worried about it I'm just mostly uh, I bought some blues off the auction house because I was having a lot of trouble in act 2 which now is not that as bad um, just to get my resistance and vitality up, and my vitality is not that high actually, it's only 31k, if I remember it was 38k, I sacrificed some of it for resistance, but the reason why it's not that important, my uh, strength on this, with this build, is because um, my sprint does 60% weapon damage, doesn't matter if you have like, uh, 900 strength like me or 2000 it's just your weapon damage that's gonna do well if you're watching this probably because you're having trouble or um, you don't have that great of gear and this is I'll show you my gear later on I got well now I only got three blues left but when I started doing this I think I had like about four maybe five blues on that I put off the auction house with just stamp and resist all and little by little I've been changing it yeah and my DPS is low it's only 11k I remember at one time it was like 28k with my old build and I think I used to struggle way more than now with 11k or now I think I even kill shit faster these little tornadoes probably hit a mob probably like 20 times before I even get an ace regular swing in. And my offhand, it's a real crappy one. 
I'm sorry, I got sidetracked. Somebody just came and uh, was talking to me. I don't remember where I was. Anyway, DPS is low. Not that great of gear. And um, it seems to be. I hit these mobs so much that all my life on hit actually kills them and running around dodging their hits, which is great because some of these mobs really, really hit hard. There's some mobs that basically take a third of your life in one hit, and there's three of them, so that's basically an instant kill. As you can see, I here I always swing to get more trash mobs because hey, the more the merrier. Uh, that way I heal more. And I this I usually take out the regular trash mobs. I left this clipped in there just so you can see how I killed all those with basically one whirlwind. Oh yeah, I was talking about my offhand. My offhand is a crappy 331 I think DPS, but it has 925 life steal. I also keep a shield in my inventory. I'll show you later. That uh, sometimes I switch it and if someone's really like pounding me out. But I usually keep my offhand because, uh, well, without my offhand, I still got like about 400 life steal, so I can still survive most things without it. But look, I kill the butcher, and I don't actually land one physical blow on him, like me basically hitting him. Well, actually, I do hit him, but a little bit. But mostly, my tornadoes do all the job. Look at that. Look at this, I'm, I, I could never do this before. This is what my problem was when I used to stand on fire and I couldn't hit him before. But now I just tank him. Just, just run around him, tornado him all day. All you have to do is just like turn back around when he does that little thing that he's going on. He does that little slam because I had to take that could sometimes even one shot you in the crits. See, there he goes. You just have to dodge that. Other than that, you're good. And there was a point here that I'm running around him, and I get stuck behind him, and I just, but I whirl my, I whirl my, I did whirlwind to get myself out of there. Yeah. And what I did here too was I also after I killed the butcher, since I still have five stacks of valor, I went to what is it, the cemetery? I forgot. It's over there by where all the crypts are at and um yeah just go into each crypt and kill one of their leads just to, uh just to get some more drops cause that's like six rares from inferno so you know you got, got some chance to get some real good shit in there see this is one of them right here occasionally they all drop trash but you know occasionally you get that one that sells for like you know anywhere from like <laughs> half a million dollars well gold and then see what I'm doing here I'm popping sprint more when you're right through running back and forth doing it over again eventually they all die so they got a little trail of, of tornadoes just killing them uh, there's only one left there's more management and that's it once you just got this guy left it's easy Mobs are pretty smart. He tries to run the other side to put me under his molten fire. I just got out the way. Put him under my tornado and just got out of his fire. See, tornadoes were hitting him. Yeah, died. And once I kill, once I find the elite and kill him, I don't even look anymore. I just move on to the next crib, which I did here. Yeah, I deleted the scenes for me running around from crib to crib, just not to waste any of your time. But see, these. Before it used to give me a real hard time to beat these bubblers, because when you're doing like single target or targeting them, like with a uh, berserk, which used to be my main attack. Oh, when you're attacking one, he bubbles, and the other ones come and mess you up. Try not to curse. So with this, like he wants to bubble, it's cool. The tornado's there and it's going to hit whoever's not bubbled. So eventually, you know, they're going to die. This way you're. Basically, they're doing the work for you. See? Let's go. I don't actually don't mind.
I got a little grip they do. Cause I pop my tornadoes and they pull me in and whoop, I get to plant the tornadoes in the middle of all of them. Yeah, I'm not getting hit as much either. Except for me that they <laughs> cornered me. But, but I whirlwind myself out of it. They all start dying.